August. August. Is it right? August. Am I doing it right? August. 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 Yeah. August. August. A, August. A, U, A U tends to be A. Ah. Sometimes ah. it's Al. But yeah, it's like uh, taught, caught. Um, yeah, usually A U is A. Ah. So it's a short O sound. August. August. Um, yeah, that's very interesting. I was uh, I was speaking with some of my other students about a, an interesting sort of issue that has come up, which is um, sometimes vowel vowel combo, like um, a i or e a stuff like that. That is surprisingly confusing for a lot of people because you don't know sometimes if you need to pronounce both letters. Is it like uh, so AI, let's say afraid. So do we say afraid, afraid, or like EA is a nightmare because it's so hard because we have bread, but we have beat, you know, or actually even more, more to the point, we have bead. How about so, beautiful? Be a beautiful. <laughs> and exactly. Yeah. So that's perfect, right? So beauty or beautiful. Um, that adds more frustration because the U then dominates the sound. So these, these, com these combinations of vowels are very confusing. So it's not beauty, it's not beauty, it's beauty. So essentially, um, phonetically, you'd spell it almost like this, like, like beauty. Um, or beautiful. So I can understand, like, as I say to you guys every week, I wish there was a rule book. So I could say, this is what you do. This is how it sounds. But there isn't, you know, it's just a case of becoming accustomed to all these words in the English language. Because as I say, like, it, it comes from Greek, Roman, Latin, French, German. So all these words trickle down to create the English language. So the only way you can really understand how they all sound is to read a lot and listen to the, the standard North American way of speaking to know how they sound. 